And as you can see, I am on Majora's Mask for the 3DS. So, I am here to tell you guys how to get the Fierce Deity Mask. If you do not want to know how to get it, then you should not be watching this video. Um, so, spoiler alert ahead very soon. Um, I have completed Majora's Mask for the 3DS, so I am now ready to tell you. So, okay. If you don't want to know, stop this video and go away. Um, okay, so, uh, to get the Fierce Deity Mask, you must have all the masks. Every single one. And I'm going to tell you where you get all of them. So, this is actually how they were arranged in the 64. This is how I've arranged mine. Um, I'm going to go down the list and I will tell you how to get each one. Um, certain masks you kind of have to get at a certain point in the game. So, you know, not every one of these will be accessible if you've, like, just begun the game. So, I've played this game numerous times and know like exactly where they all are except in the 3ds one the stone mask and the giant's mask are located in totally different areas than they were in the 64. um which confused me but we'll get to that in a minute so we'll start with the easy we'll start with the top row of masks um, I actually, before I did the first dungeon, I actually had six masks. Um, okay, so, the Deku one you automatically get, automatically get, because you start out as a Deku scrub, and you get this mask when the Happy Mask Salesman turns you back into a human. The Great Fairy's mask is given to you by the Great Fairy. Um, the stone mask used to be located in Econa Canyon, um, by where you'd hook shot up to that Garo. It is no longer located in that area, because in the old game, you had to talk to a soldier, but you can't see him unless you have the Lens of Truth on. Um, the mask is now located in the Pirate's Fortress in the main area that guards are patrolling around, you put on the Lens of Truth and he'll be sitting by a crate. When you go in there to get this mask, make sure you have a red potion to give to the soldier Shiro. Um, oops. Okay, the blast mask. On the first night at, I'm wanting to say around 11.30, um, in oh, the area where Tingle is, where the Great Fairy Fountain is, um, there will be a guy named Sako, and he will rob an old lady. You have to stop him from robbing her, and then she will give you this very dangerous mask, which has actually saved me many times. Um, basically, it's a bomb you put on your face and explode. If you guys didn't ever get this mask, that's what it does. Um, let's see here. Okay. So, that's how you get the blast mask. The all night mask. You have, you have to stop the thief from stealing the bomb bag. And on the final night, at 10 o'clock, when the curiosity shop opens... 
the curiosity shop will be selling this mask for like 400 or 500 rupees and this mask basically is only used for one reason and it is to stay awake during Anju's grandma's story and you get like a piece of heart for it that's like the only thing this mask is helpful for that's like the only use for this thing not to mention how creepy it just looks just look at it it basically keeps your eyes open okay the postman's hat this one's a bit tricky because you have to do most of the cafe anju quest so okay at like two two o'clock in the afternoon the postman will go into the stockpot in after he talks to her make sure you have coffee's mask which i'll tell you how to get that one too um coffee's mask talk to her and she'll say to meet her in the kitchen at 11 30. so after you meet her in the kitchen she'll give you a letter to put in the mailbox which allows you to meet Kafe on the second day. And on the second day at like 2.30, I think the postman comes, delivers the letter to Kafe. You then meet Kafe. And after you meet him, um, go, I sped up time and went to the third day. Go into Kafe's house. And the curiosity shop guy will be in there, and he will give you a priority mail. Now, with that priority mail, you can either give it to Kafe's mom yourself, which gives you an empty bottle, or, I think, and then, or, you can go at night, make it night on the final night, go to the postman's place give him the priority mail and he'll deliver it to Kafe's mom and then he will give you his hat and if you guys want further details I can actually do the quest for you um, okay the Keaton mask is given to you by the curiosity shop guy um after you met Kafe on the second day. So, on the third day, if you go in there, he'll give you this mask and the priority mail. Brahmin mask. This is one of the easiest masks to get. If you go to the laundry pool where Kafe um, lives, you'll find, I think it's at night when he's there, uh, you'll find the Guru Guru guy. And if you listen to his sad story, he will give you this mask. And this mask allows you to get the next one, which is the bunny hood. After you have the Bremen mask, you go to Romani Ranch. And you go to the building that has Grog sitting there. And he'll be sitting like in the middle of this area, and you'll see little... Like, chicks walking around. Well, use the Bremen mask and make them all adults. And then Grog will give you the bunny hood. This is like one of the first masks I got because I needed... It allows you to run faster. And it's awesome. Okay. So this video is actually way longer than I thought. But okay. So I'll go through this row and then I'll start a new video. Don Garo's mask. This one is located in the uh, village area near Snowhead. Um, there will be a Goron freezing up on a little platform, and you have to give him some rock sirloin, which you find in the Goron village where that baby is crying. And you light all the torches. And it'll make the chandelier spin. And in one of the pieces of the chandelier, you'll get the rock sirloin. And then 
you have to carry that rock sirloin all the way through the Goron town and get it out to where the smithy place is and you throw it up on the ledge and the Goron will roll down and then give you this mask. This mask will give you a piece of heart. Not the mask, but once you do what it this mask does, then you'll get a piece of heart. Okay, the mask of sense. This mask is really stupid, in my opinion. So, you have to beat Woodfall Temple to be able to get this mask. After you beat Woodfall, um, the Dekus will give you a little hint that the butler wants to see you. And that would be the Deku butler. So, I believe when you come out of the Deku Palace, if you go, if you're coming out, you go right, and there'll be like a shrine all the way around the corner there, and you have to race the Deku Butler through a series of, like, maze type things. Keep up with him, and he will give you this. There is a time limit. If he goes through a door and you don't make it, it'll shut you out and you, you can't win. So, uh, you, I do recommend having the bunny hood for that race. Um, I had to race him once. In the old game, they changed the maze a little bit. In the old one, I had to try it like two or three times because it was really hard. They made the 3DS one pretty easy to me, it seems. And, okay, and last one for this video is the Goron Mask. And you get the Goron Mask soon um, after getting into the Goron Village. It's pretty- the Transformation Mask, these two are pretty easy to- you know, these three are all pretty straightforward. You get them from- yeah. Okay. So, the next video will be the other half of the masks and telling you where you get those. So, yeah. Okay, that's the end of part one of getting the Fierce Deities mask.